Are you stuck in negative thoughts and see no sense in life? Done with the good advice? Think there's no way out for you? Listen, I think what you need is a quick solution that works long term. In this video, I'll give you the solution that I used to fix my depression going on for several years. And this is something that you can literally do while you're lying in your bed with your curtains closed, depressed as hell. Now you better understand this correct because after this video depression will be a choice. No more room left for excuses. And I'm saying this for a reason because I have made it out of depression and I've helped people being in therapy for over 10 years to escape their depression. But I also know a lot of people that still didn't make it out just because they would lose an excuse for their failures. Listen, if you're one of them, then go and watch the other 1000 videos out there on depression. If you want to fix it, watch me. I'm going to go over three keys and you're going to use these three keys to unlock something very special that you should use to your advantage. And for those three things, I even found studies that you don't read. I know, but hey, listen, I love putting them down in the video description. Absolutely no problem. So let's begin with number one, and that is sunlight and vitamin D. So if you're depressed, the absolute best thing that you can do is get out in the sun. However, some people are so depressed that they can't go outside anymore and the sun is not available all around the year in most countries. In all cases, actually, you want to take a vitamin D supplement because that's what's going to get you out of your hole. Vitamin D is being produced in your skin when exposed to sunlight. And that's why most people are deficient to the sun exposure, sunscreen usage, etc. Now, the dosage is what really makes the difference here. I had already been taking vitamin D for a few months, but it didn't have much of an effect. You need to take at least 10,000 international units not 1000 international units per day. When I took 10,000 international units for the first time, I was just laughing for no reason. And my thinking changed from 99% negative thoughts, just like that, to 99% positive thoughts. Before this event, I didn't even think that was possible. And so tell me one more time that depression is just about your thinking. So what you want to take in the beginning is 15 to 20,000 international units. That's still absolutely safe in nature. We would get around 15,000 international units and vitamin D is being stored in your liver and your storage is likely very low. By the way, sunlight is superior to a vitamin D supplement. Sunlight has even more benefits than vitamin D. So if you have access to sunlight, get out in the sun and you can take vitamin D on the side as well. I'll link a few vitamin D supplements in the video description. You just have to get the dosage right and take it with a meal. Consider also ordering magnesium bisglycinate. It just helps with the vitamin D activation. You would want to take around 100 to 200 milligrams every time you take vitamin D. So once per day. Now let's go over key number two and that is zinc. Zinc is an essential trace mineral that we should be getting from our diet just that we don't. Essential mineral means we can't produce it, but depend on it. Zinc is a natural antidepressant important for skin health, immune function, taste, smell, eye health, and testosterone production in men and women, which also increases the mood. So if you're seeing improvements in these areas, it's the zinc. What's perfect is that it basically doesn't have any side effects since it's not a medication. It's a natural mineral that we are taking here that should be in your body in the first place. So zinc and vitamin D is basically a good mood bomb. The only mentionable amounts of zinc are red meat, shellfish and oysters. I recommend that you get this as a supplement as well to fix the deficiency and get out of your depression. And then long term, I recommend that you consume more red meat because of seafood pollution. Approximately 2 billion people on this planet are zinc deficient, which is very severe. Deficiency and optimal amounts are two very different things. And I think with modern diets, it's more like 90% of the population of this whole planet is not getting optimal amounts of zinc. Personally, zinc helped me a lot to counteract negative thoughts and depression. And you wanna get this in the form of zinc bisglycinate. This form has basically everything you need a good absorption rate and it's easy on the stomach. You can check the video description. Initially, I would take 25 milligrams per day for around three days to have a very potent effect. Then go for 50 milligrams per day as a maintenance dosage or just seven if you start to consume more red meat. 
And by the way, for the red meat, I recommend that you consume grass-fed red meat. Now, key number three is another big one. And honestly, if someone gave me all of these three keys, I would have made it out of depression in no time. But I had to discover all of these separately. So number three is omega-3 and omega-6. And as you can see, it's about diet again. And there is a reason for that. I'm going to touch on other lifestyle factors right after this point. And with this point, I'm going to cut right to the chase because basically it's very complex. Omega-3 and omega-6 are both essential fats and need to be in a certain ratio. In our modern diets and if you go to a restaurant, you are basically getting bombarded with omega-6 fatty acids. No joke, bombarded. This leads to low omega-3 and that ultimately to depression because omega-3 is very important for energy production, especially in your brain, your mitochondrion, and a lowered amount of energy in your brain leads to depression sooner or later. Now, what we don't want to do is bomb ourselves with omega-3s for several reasons. One of them would be seafood pollution and these omega-3 pills as supplements that you are thinking of they don't work. It's oxidized rancid fat. It doesn't work. It's all bull****. So I made four points and with them you can fix your ratio very fast. Number one would be less restaurant food, especially Asian, because they basically love poisoning you with these seed oils and they probably don't even know it. Number two is cut out seed oils when you're cooking. So seed oils are sunflower, canola, rapeseed, soybean, corn, etc. oil the rest is on my list here and just replace it with coconut oil number three cut out nuts and number four get yourself cod liver oil from wild caught fatty fish and have a tablespoon of that every three to four days again check the links in the video description so i've just given you the magical recipe to cure depression that i found out and Honestly, this could be given to a lot of people on this planet instead of giving them antidepressants or therapy. But hey, this way we would be making less money with people's health, wouldn't we? So now, you really want to watch this part because this is very important. You're gonna start feeling a lot better when you apply these three keys and that unlocks you something. Momentum. You will feel very happy and you want to use the momentum and quit your bad habits, quit your bad friends, fix your sleep, fix your job and fix your life and very importantly, fix your diet because it's this system that made you sick in the first place. Because what I just told you is that your diet is causing your depression. And that's when you start to understand that this whole depression pandemic has a reason. Now diet isn't the absolute only thing here, but it plays a very significant role. And depression is by no means natural, okay? And remember, I'm not a superhuman and I escaped my depression. So you can do it too. Have a great day.